Do y'all remember how a few years ago everyone was losing their minds after they found out that like 30 to 50 percent of the population doesn't have an internal monologue and they started calling them NPCs? I can do you one better. I have something called aphantasia. Around four in a hundred people fit in that category. Let's test if that's you. Now I want you to close your eyes and visualize a red apple. I want you to note down how clearly you see it and in what level of detail. So which number here best describes what you saw? If you've assigned yourself anywhere between one and four, then you do have the ability to visualize. But if you're a five, then you likely have aphantasia. That means that when you've seen those character thought bubbles in the past, you just thought that this was part of an art form or for visual purposes, but other people can actually see things with their mind's eye. There is some good news with that though, as even though there is some limited evidence that it can affect your own memory and your ability to read faces, it's likely that its impact on your day-to-day -day life is subtle. Let's see how many of us have each number share it below. 